I'm Stacey J. And I'm Chuck Duran. Here we go with part two with the incredible Samantha Paris. Remember to keep those notes going. You want your takeaways, oh, yeah. so you can enter the giveaway. Here we go. Let's talk about something I believe you're probably also passionate about, the voiceover demo. <laughs> Do you have, I love that noise. I just want to try to make her yeah. make that noise. It's like a yeah. drinking game. Let's Every time she goes, the voiceover oh. demo. <laughs> 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 It's like every time you do that, they should have to drink. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what are some of your must-dos and must-don'ts? Okay, well, first of all, people need to accept the fact that you can't put everything on either a one-minute or a two-minute demo. Demos now are anywhere between one to two minutes in length, okay? So you need to think of your, your marketing yourself. I always tell my students, look, you're, you've been studying all these years, and you are learning um, every area of the business. I know it's a little different here in LA. If you want to just do animation, fine. Study animation, there's plenty of work. Right. If you want to just do um, promos, study that, fine. But in San Francisco, if you want to earn a living as a voice actor, and you can, you know, people easily make six figures a year up there. I yeah. don't think there's anyone in seven figures. There could be, but I don't, I don't know. But yeah. lots of people mm -hmm. that make six-figure year incomes. But you have to be versatile. Yeah. So you have to be able to do commercials as much as, as an audio tour, as much as a video game, you know, et cetera. Sure. So within any genre, though, let's just talk about the basic commercial demo. Yeah. Um, you need to go with your strengths. And just because you do 50 zillion things and you've been studying you you know you do great character voices and you know all this you can't put all that on a demo because what needs to come across is you mm -hmm. right yeah so well, I'm, not I'm, to mention that that's what the industry calls for today. They're not calling in commercials mm -hmm. like, you, you know, back in the 90s, you know, it's like they wanted character voices on commercials. Nowadays, it's like very little of that and more real person, right? Right. Yeah. But, for example, let's say you're somebody that, um, like a woman that has a very, like, naturally sophisticated, perfumey voice. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that when she has her agent that she's not going to audition for the 40, 50-year-old, you know, m mom, whatever. Yeah. She might audition for it, but the odds of her booking it are kind of slim. Yeah. You know, there's always exceptions. Mm -hmm. But if you have that naturally perfumey, sophisticated voice, I don't know if you're doing a one minute demo, if you should really have a piece of copy on there talking about your mom, you know, talking about being a mom and serving corned beef hash to your kids. Right. It's just not appropriate. It's not the most appropriate use you know, for your voice. Exactly. So you need to learn everything. Yeah. But then you need to really dial it in for your demo. What are my areas that realistically I am most bookable? There you go. And put those Where you're going to be able there. to be cast in. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You, you don't, don't want, want to put the exception to the rule yeah. on your demo just so your voice sounds it, different. It, exactly. Right. Right. Because it's all about casting. It's all about fulfilling the needs of producers. All right. So, you know, do you want your warm read? Do you want your dry read? Do you, you have to think, I'm a producer. How am I realistically going to be cast? Yeah. And those are the things that need to be on the demo. Exactly. Like, I sit down with people before doing a demo, and we talk about whatever industry that we're, we're, we're talking about. So, right. let's say it's commercial. Well, you, because a lot of people say, well, I'm really good at this, this, and that. Mm -hmm. And that's fantastic as long as this, this, and that is actually happening, happening right, now, right now. Right? Because if it's not, then we have a little bit of a problem. So you need to know two things. You need to know what's happening right now in that area, whether it's commercial or promo or animation or whatever, and then also say, okay, now what do I have to offer that market? Exactly. And stick, Samantha Stain, stick with those things. Don't go all over the freaking place because then people won't know who you are. They won't know who you are. And again, your, um, this is a great example people that want to get into character work, yeah. whether it's games or animation. You know, I've got a lot of women in their 40s, 50s, or, well, I mean, it's the same for guys, but there, there's a real chronic problem with, with older women where they think they do a really cute kid's voice, yeah, but they really don't. It's like passable. Yeah, but, but it sounds you know, like a... So on the character demo, they're like, oh, but I want to put my eight-year-old boy on there. Yeah. 
and you know, I'll hear it, and I'll think yeah. of about a hundred actresses that can do an eight-year-old boy much better. Yeah. And I'll say to them, look, you don't want to put something like that on your demo. It doesn't mean it will never. You'll never use it. You could be at a session and you've got your main character, and then all of a sudden they say, oh, you know what? We've got these three lines as this boy. Can you do it? Mm -hmm. Well, then you're going to be really happy that you took your animation classes and right. you learned the different placements, yeah. et cetera. Thank you, Susan Blue. Yeah. And so you can, you know, you, you can fake it. You yeah. can, it, it, it's passable. Yeah. Right. But you're not going to put something like that on your demo. No. Exactly. Because how many drops of, uh, of poison does it take <laughs> to ruin a cake mix? Right. One. <laughs> and, you know, to your point, uh, demos vary from region to region. Completely. So if somebody, I mean, of course, can I, if some, you know, I have a lot of my students that are moving down to L.A., right? You know, they, they, well, they yeah, get so, work. And by the way, I don't like right. that you're doing that. You're preparing them up <laughs> there <laughs> and then sending them down here to compete with Stacy and all these other superstars that we know. Let's Stay in San Francisco. I live in the world of there's, there's work. There's yep. work. I had a wonderful acting coach for many years. He's, he passed away a couple years ago, Cliff Osman. Mm. And he had one expression that was so simple. He just always said, if you're good, you'll work. Yeah. Absolutely. And it's so true. It's very, you very guys, true. You just have to get good. It's yeah. really that simple. So, um, so you're saying a lot of your students yeah. are moving here. So I have students, you know, what, my, what I insist upon, if I can control their lives, and I, <laughs> can you tell <laughs> I'm kind of a type A controlling yeah. person? Um, they're very, you know, they might be, especially the younger ones, like really eager to come down here. And I'm like, why do you want to do that? Stay here, start working. There's a ton of non-union work, ton of video games and things that are produced uh, up in the Bay Area. Yeah. So get the experience here. You've got a resume, then maybe a year before you want to move down. Now you tell your agent, okay, I want to audition for union things. You will eventually book. You get your union card. So now move down to Los Angeles. You already have a resume. You already have a union card. You're, mm -hmm. You are unlike the yeah. thousands of people that flock here, and they're just like, oh, I want I'm to be here. famous. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Um, so for those people, even though I love them so much, I can make them their demo. But they're going to be down here in this marketplace, mm -hmm. and I spend all my time in Sausalito. So who's going to really know better market, what yeah. is current right now, right here? You guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyone that I know is in San Francisco, of course I'm going to make them their demo. And for some of the students, like, oh, but you're my mom. Like, oh, I want you to make it. I'm like, yeah, no, nope, you're afraid, moving. Right. Yeah, you're you're moving down the there. Yeah. That's yeah. where you need that's where you need to be. That's that's where you got to do it. So, for for all of you listening, you know, there's obviously you can go on different websites and things and, and listen listen to demos, and you will really notice there's a different vibe to a demo in New York. Mm -hmm. There's a different vibe to a demo in LA. There's a different yeah. vibe to one in San Francisco. So, really knowing your marketplace is very, very key to Absolutely. a good demo. Yeah, and I'm just gonna say one thing about demos. I have to because of course, you're the do. king. Well, just no, one but thing? check this out. That's because shocking. the thing is, and I always talk about this, I'm just as passionate about this as you are about what you do. Mm -hmm. Okay? And all that to say this. You are man, you're an amazing coach. And you love your students and you want to guide them because you want them to have success. That's right. You want to freaking knock them in the head when they do something wrong because you want them to have Success. success. That's right. And I love that about you. And it's very, very apparent. Um, I am the same exact way. I'm not a voiceover actor. I'm not an actor. I'm not a, you know, uh, I don't produce movies. I am a voiceover demo producer. And I have been for over 25 years. And I study the industry. I talk to all the agents and I ask them, what do you need to hear and what are you sick of hearing? Yeah. Because these are the people that are, that are gonna either want to work with you or not. Casting directors, mm -hmm. same thing, right? So it's really, really important that when you're having a demo done, and I'm not saying that I'm the, the, you know, the end all, but it is so important to go to a reputable person who knows the industry because otherwise you're going to end up with something that doesn't do what it intended to do. Right, exactly. And that's not good. Exactly. And you know what? Even before the demo, 
you know, we were we were talking before about yeah. how it's I think actually easier for people to break in now, even though there's more training on the front end to learn how to direct yourself. But again, back in the day, we didn't have things like voices one, two, three. No. Are you kidding me? So I kind of look at there's three tiers now to growth and success. I don't allow any of my students to sign up for Voices123 or Voices.com, any of those yeah, things. Yeah, Voices.com, Voice123, Voice one, two, three. Three, sorry. Mm -hmm. Until they're, they're ready. Yeah. And in my mind, that readiness is, maybe you're not ready yet for the demo and to get an agent who's now gonna send you auditions and you have to record from home. You know, there's, there's like trial and error, yep. right? Mm -hmm. So you don't wanna send auditions to your agent that suck. No. no. Right. <laughs> but there comes a point when a student is is like that close to being ready for their demo. Yeah. Where I'll say, okay, now if you want to spend the money, I, what, I don't know what it costs, three, four hundred dollars to sign up for like voice one, two, three. That's the basic. <laughs> yeah, the basic, whatever. That's, basic. Something, that's like the basic, okay. but that's, you know, like there's that. lots right. of different so, options. So um, just before a student is really ready for an agent, I'll say, okay, now sign up for voice one two three and start auditioning there you don't even have to have a demo you can just you know i'll have a lot of my students yeah. just you know on a stick a couple of really good things that they did in class yeah. and posted there to start yeah to right? show that they can do something and yes on voice one two three for example the pay is lower it's it's non-union yeah. then the next tier is having an agent i'm talking san francisco right now in san francisco that high, that um, deals with non-union work and so let's say maybe they could get five or six hundred dollars for a project. Voice one, two, three, if they're doing it, maybe it's two, three hundred dollars. Yeah. But it's still like it's 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 a it's a it's a phase that I never had. You could not make a demo and get an agent unless you were absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Period, end all, yeah. end of story. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now you can be pretty darn good, start auditioning on something like voice one, two, three, start to get jobs make your mistakes, because I, I do tell my students, look at if you suck and you're sending it to voice one, two, three, I mean, yeah, you don't want to suck anywhere, but you're, you're beginning, yeah. it's, it's, it's a practice thing. Well, if they suck, I don't think right. you're gonna be telling them to go right. on voice one, two, three right. yet, right, no, Samantha? But when you're, no, but when I say suck, meaning they're still practicing <laughs> self-directing, yeah. they're still, yeah. you know, yeah. so I'm just saying, better to make your mistakes on kind of the lower yeah. end of the totem pole. Yeah. So I look at something like voice one, two, three as forced practice practicing with a carrot attached to it? Yeah, with a carrot attached to it. I have students that are making twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars a year just on voice one, two, three. They don't have a demo and they don't have an agent. That was my long winded yeah. way of getting back to the yeah. demo. Yeah. The demo isn't like the all important thing anymore right away. Yeah. You can begin to get work without it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can so, one of the things at Voice Tracks that you guys do is, is, yes, there's a lot of teaching and a lot of diverse options, but there's also mentoring. Mm -hmm. And right now there is just so much buzz about um, non-union, union, setting your rates, knowing your value. Mm -hmm. Do you guys have mentoring for people? Because really, you're starting your own business. You're, mm -hmm. you're a solopreneur. You're the CEO of your company. And, and people are, are needing to know, you know, do you do a job for $50? I mean, how does that affect the global industry, not just union, non-union? Because what someone does in the question. union or not in the union affects everyone. Mm -hmm. And so do you guys have any mentoring or, or business type of criteria that you go through with people so they really understand what they're doing, whether they're on that smaller level or in a um, bigger presence? I think that that's the beauty, the charm, and the success of my school all these years, is it is all about mentoring. Mm -hmm. So for example, um, one of my biggest dreams, I mean, when I first started out teaching, oh my God, I had all these students, and I couldn't teach all the classes, so then I you know, called my girlfriend Susan Blue on the phone, hey, can you come up and teach? I called Lee Gilbert, SBV, hey, can you? you know, it started to grow, et cetera. Yeah. And for many years, um, it was actually, quite expensive to run voice tracks because I'm bringing up all these people from Los Angeles because there weren't enough good experienced people in San Francisco and okay I still bring up all those people but what's now happened over the years what she's secretly trying to say is that all the talented people <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding no but no. what's happened now is 
I have so many students that have gone through the program yeah. that are now successful Bay Area actors that have become the teachers. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, uh, one of my my right I have a right arm and a left hand uh, and left arm um, Chuck Karukulis and Vicky Baum, and Vicky is like the so they both work for me full time and Vicky is like the queen of booking on Voice One Two Three. Okay, so all of a sudden I said, okay, Vic, you need to come up with a class um, for the students on how people book on Voices One Two Three because it's not just reading the copy. It's when you get it in. It's picking the right scripts. There's a real system yeah, there to is. how you book. And so here's my employee, Vicki, who she's booking like crazy. I'm like, good, time for you to give back. Time for you to tell the, the, the students how to do it. My whole school is about giving back. I have several instructors who are huge in video games. Yeah. Besides the Dave Fenoy's and the Jackie Shrivers of Sony, yeah. people like that that come up and teach the video game yeah. classes. I have students that make a boatload of money in San Francisco now doing video games. They teach the classes and it's common for yeah, now absolutely. a student to get an audition that the instructor also has the same audition. The mm -hmm. student calls the teacher on the phone, I have this audition, did you get it? Did you have this audition too? Yes, do you mind if I ask you or do you mind if you listen to my audition and tell me what you think? And that's what the whole school is about. That's so really cool. students become mm -hmm. teachers, become mentors, and give back. And students call up, I mean, three or four times a day, oh, I just booked this job. I don't know what to charge. Mm -hmm. So do we have classes on that? Yes. But, you know, as I think what you're saying, too, is but there's some basic things, but then there's individual Right, you know, right. Uh, realities. So we can counsel them, and based on you know, Vicky or Chuck will know where that person is, and yeah. and mm -hmm. they just a year ago were in that same position, so they say, well, yeah, this is what I think you should charge. This is you know, so I mean, our phones are ringing all day long. It's not just like people interested in classes. Right. Yeah. It's right. it's us Mentoring helping. And helping. Yeah. That and is nice the success and, of the school. That's really cool, Samantha. That is the success. You must be um, really well, busy. and you guys. No wonder it took you a year to get here. <laughs> but you guys can go to voicetracksf.com and and check out everything. And it, there's it's a great. There's just so much on your website. Yeah. So yeah. many great resources and 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 tools. Thank you. Um, so, what do you still love about being in the industry after all these years? Everything. <laughs> uh, I say everything because it's the appropriate thing to say. There's a, I mean, it is true, but um, I really kind of turned a corner about five, six years ago, and um, I don't really, I perform very little. I perform just enough to keep my toe in it, so I'm not some dorkopotamus who wears old shoes and yeah. isn't current. Um, but. It's what we're just talking about. I love the mentoring. Nothing, nothing warms me more or fuels me every day than to get up and go, I'm gonna help somebody else. I'm gonna make a difference in somebody else's mm -hmm. life. Yeah. And so the performer, it was probably about five years ago, I was you know, down, down here and, and um, doing some business, I don't know, something, and I walked into DPN like I always do in the morning and, and I'm sitting in Jeff's office and, and uh, he goes to give me a piece of copy, and I'm like, I don't think I want to read this. I don't, I've been sort of feeling like I don't want to do this anymore. He's like, what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I said, Jeff, I don't, you know, I don't know. There's just something kind of, mm -hmm. it's that following your instincts. Yeah. And, and accepting that we move on to different chapters. Mm -hmm. And um, so, I mean, I do love the industry. Nothing turns me on more than a fantastic commercial. I'm not kidding you. I love commercials. Yeah, I too. love the yeah. concept. This is what I tell my students all the time. Okay, you go to the stage, you have the audience, they pay to see you, they're a willing participant. You go to a movie, people pay, willing participant. You are choosing to perform for people that hate you, that want to turn you off. They want nothing to do with you. 
I find that so super sexy. Yeah. If you can win over an yes. audience, keep oh, their yeah, yeah. attention. Absolutely. So to me, still, there's nothing better than a great commercial. It just really gets me I mean, me performance going. really is about connection. It and, is. And so there's different, whether you're on the mic yourself or not, I mean, you are performing in a different capacity, and, and you've taken all of your wisdom and your experience, and you've evolved to a different level. And, and the giving back part, I mean, that for me is super sexy. Yeah. Is, yeah. The, is the giving back and knowing that you're putting a hand and, and paying it forward yeah um and i'm, I'm pr i used for a while it's like kind of a secret like mm -hmm. oh she doesn't really want to perform anymore but i'm really i feel really comfortable now talking about that and mm -hmm. just saying that's yeah. really well, where my heart when is it's now. your choice it's not like oh you gave up you didn't give up you made no. a choice yeah. to evolve you, in a different yeah, you were in a different planted way. and you decided to bloom <laughs> yeah. 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 Right. That's, that's, uh, that's trust nice. me, that's yeah. what got me to where I'm at today yeah. is, is is for years I was basically chasing all these different things mm -hmm. and even though I was having success in, in certain areas, I'm like, well, oh, but I don't want to do that. I just want to do this, this, this and that. And it wasn't until I actually thought about, wait a minute. If you're really good at something and it makes you feel good, right. Do that, you know? That's I right. mean, it's like stop running around like, you know, like you have to be a star mm -hmm. or something like that. So I love that. I really do. Yeah. Being a star of your own life. You're a class amazing. act. Mm. And you married a very classy man. <laughs> and let me tell you something. Did he buy you that ring? Uh, is that thing is sizzling and it's gorgeous. <laughs> Holy Toledo! That is gorgeous. Graziano, molto bene. It's beautiful. I like to get dressed. Did you have to sell your house for that? <laughs> My goodness oh, gracious! Done. Sorry, don't mean to put you on the spot there. I'm very happy. For you guys. But uh, um, you know, I, is, I, I just want to give a shout out because I've yeah. mentioned his name a couple of times. It's kind of talking about how not you know never go, knowing where you're going in your life or or you know how friends and mentors yeah. etc are going to help you. You know, Jeff was a Jeff Danis was a wonderful agent for me. I but love Jeff. Yeah. I have to tell you, he has done even more for me with the school. I would be and and Natanya Rose as well. Yeah. They are such huge supporters, and and I mean, there's so many people from Los Angeles that that come up. But a lot of times, I'm looking for new people mm -hmm. to teach, and I'm. I get a lot of people that send me emails that want to teach, and but you know a lot of them don't have the pedigree that I'm looking for. And if it's you know a friend, working colleague of mine, you know Townsend Coleman, Rob Paulson, these people that I always really knew and worked a lot with, that's yeah. fine. But you know, I'll, I'll I'll get emails from people where they want to teach. I don't know who they are. I don't you know. Um, the long and short of it is that they have been such huge supporters, and they. They have opened doors for me to find such amazing talent to come to the school. And um, and they do it because they love the school and they love the students and they love what it stands for. Yeah. And so as wonderful as, as agents as they were to me, yeah. I will never be able to thank those two individuals enough for everything they have done for the school. So. Well. Jeff, if you're ever watching this, thanks. Actually, you know, I have to say, five, Jeff yeah. does watch the show once in a while. And mm -hmm. when we started, first of all, I am a demo producer today because of Jeff yes, Danis. Yes, that's true. Oh, okay. That's so true. he's done a lot of cool things. We, we'd love, I'd love to have him on a show one day. Jeff, come on. Uh, but, but. <laughs> Oh, he has like, respectfully declined. He has respectfully yeah. declined because he doesn't like the limelight. But when the we started Vio Buzz Weekly, he when was we started, such yeah. a champion for it. And how can like, I help? And who anybody that I can get you from my roster to be on the show, I love yeah. this idea. It's so great. So Jeff Danis, yeah. you are a champion. Great. DPN rocks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they do. Well, you have talked about some amazing talent and agents that have come. Mm -hmm. Mary Lynn Wisner, Jeff Howell, Bob Bergen, Townsend Coleman. Um, what is it? that you think, you know, they come there, they, they have this, this, this moment with your students. What is it that sort of is left there for them? Like, what do you think that they bring to your students that makes it such a special thing? I think that, um, I mean, yes, one of the things that sets uh, voice tracks apart is the pedigree, all mm -hmm. right? So you're either a top working actor or agent or producer you're not somebody who is quasi whatever and so you're also teaching to earn a living mm -hmm. and I'm not saying that that's not honorable or whatnot but right. yeah. so I am it I'm really strict there you there's screen. a very clean yeah. pedigree yeah. but beyond that um, 
besides the mentoring that goes on, I think the success of the school is, again, it, it always goes back to my students. It's a different vibe. I might be being a little general, nothing against Los Angeles. I was born and raised here. <laughs> yeah. But I think there's a certain vibe here when people take classes, they, they're in a hurry. They want to be discovered. If an agent or a producer comes to a workshop, let's say it's like a six week workshop and tonight's agent night, right? The student is like, they're just wanting to perform. They're wanting to show off. It's a showcase. Yeah. So a lot of agents don't enjoy teaching here because they don't like that vibe. Yeah. When, when these top people from Los Angeles come up, they love teaching at Voice Tracks because the students want to learn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they, they'll be just as happy, like, like, um, like Rob Paulson and, and Townsend recently were up and, and um, a more advanced class, uh, the, the, the advanced students will bring in a script, maybe something, you know, audition they, they didn't do well on. They, and so they'll, they'll, they'll give the script to Rob and then Rob will just immediately direct him in the booth. And they're just fascinated watching, listening to how his mind works. works. Yeah. And it's not important for my students to just rush into the booth. The other 10 people that are sitting out here going, wow, how did he come up with yeah. that? How did, you know, yeah, you there's such, that, yeah. you know, they, my students respect and honor these people so much and hang on their every word beyond that. They don't mind making mistakes because they know these teachers have come up to teach them. Yeah. So if you're trying to show off, mm -hmm. well, you know, that, that, that really warm give and take isn't there. So yeah. the teachers love coming up because they know the students really want to yeah. learn. It's a very yeah. authentic three hours or six hours or nine hours. So they walk away just as fulfilled. In many cases, they walk away even more fulfilled than the students because That's cool. how wonderful yeah. is that that yeah. there's 12 people sitting there that want to mm -hmm. yeah, listen cool. to you. Take it in. Is there, yeah. um, I'm sorry, I'm hogging Samantha. Well, I wanted to ask her a question. Okay, can I just ask before I forget? Yes, okay. you know, I'm getting older. <laughs> um, for people, we have a global audience. Mm -hmm. Are there people, I mean, for the people that aren't in the area or can't mm -hmm. get there, is there anything for them to take advantage of at Voice Tracks virtually? Um, I'm slowly, I'm pretty old fashioned, um, but to answer your question, yes, I do have a few teachers that do Skype oh, cool. and we're going to start doing more of it. Okay. The reservations I have is that um, in a perfect world, and I have done this sometimes, I'll do like these, we call them fantasy camps, so people from all over the, the country come. I have had people come as far as away as, as one person from England, one person from Japan, but people from all over the country will come like 12 students and they'll do like a condensed, we, we do a condensed week, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday right. of classes. You're still not a voiceover superstar. You're nowhere near that. No, no. But mm -hmm. you've got the foundation set. I know you because I like that connection. So then beginning to do Skype sessions there's a foundation. It, there's a, there. there's a yeah. foundation. Yeah. And so we've been operating more like that. And yet that said, my staff and so many of the teachers are like, Sammy, come on, you do. You, we understand how you feel about this, <laughs> but that's not the way the world works anymore. Right. Yeah. So we're, we are now moving more into that whole world mm -hmm. of, of Skype. Cool. I okay. see Skype classes coming. Mm -hmm. Right now it's just private lessons with certain um, instructors, but that, okay. that next frontier is it's coming. around it's the coming. corner. Just be yeah. patient. It's coming. I'm just yeah. such a, I want to, okay. I want them to be, I want to hug them. And no, I know. She wants, you want to keep them all for yourself. <laughs> you can't do that. Um, uh, quick question. When you, uh, voice tracks San Francisco, does everybody that attend your school mm -hmm. is, does everybody want to be a voice actor? Mm -mm. No. Um, I'd say, I do this introductory lecture that's yeah. three hours long, and um, I, I would say that maybe 50% of the people, um, no, 30%. 30% of the people? Want to be a voice actor. 30%? Yeah. Wow. Maybe. I mean, that's been their dream. Or at least yeah. to explore it. 
a little further. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's like it's been their dream, but they had no idea how to go about it, or mm -hmm. and they thought yeah. like you'd have to be in L.A. or you know. So it's like a dream of theirs, but they have no idea. And and the okay, other? maybe maybe it is just twenty percent. Then there's the majority of the people are just very curious. People have commented on their voices for years, mm -hmm. all right? And of course, one of the first things I say in my lectures is that voiceover has absolutely nothing to do with your voice. <laughs> Not anymore, right? Not anymore, yeah. but anyway. Um, and then, so I said the majority of people are in that, that someone has commented on their voice and they're just curious. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, on one end are people. In the Bay Area, it's, oh, I've always wanted to be in cartoons. I always wanted to do video games, yeah. like that kind of thing. Yeah. And then I'd say there's about 20% people that come that yes uh, constantly I'll get trial attorneys that want to be more engaging in front of a jury mm -hmm. um, school teachers um, you know that want to be more engaging in their classroom yeah. um, people that want to make better corporate pay presentations people are just so painfully shy I um, I had one one woman oh my gosh I forget that disease but when you won't leave your house Oh, What's that agoraphobia? called? Agoraphobia? Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. And her therapist actually recommended classes at oh, wow. voice tracks. Um, and that seemed to do the trick. So, I mean, people mm -hmm. come for all sorts of reasons. But yeah. interestingly enough, the people that come because they want to help just, you know, come overcome their shyness or their work, whatever, of that percentage, I'd say at least 50% of those people end up going, holy cow, this is really cool. Yeah. And they end up being want, a part yeah. of the people that want to do it exactly. and mm -hmm. either then augment their yeah. income or... Yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, that's really cool because, I, I mean, that. here, most of the people that take... In Los Angeles, most of the people that take a voiceover class... Oh, it's all they about... They just want to be a star. Right, exactly. You know what I mean? And over there, it's, it's really cool that you have mm -hmm. people just wanting to yeah. have more confidence. Yeah. I think I like it's that. also Northern California is yeah. a little different. It is I'm the sure. land of, stereotypically speaking, of people that want to explore, you know, Wine different and things. Grace. Yeah, we've yeah. heard all about you explorers <laughs> out there. <laughs> I yeah, love. but that's what, and you know, that's what makes the, it, the, the classes so great too, because I have people from age 12 to my oldest student right now, I think is. 84. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. I have some students. I have this one gentleman, Bill Conklin, that's been coming to my Friday afternoon class for 17 years. He just, you know, he loves the camaraderie and yeah, he, gets he, he yeah, makes Caesar salad once a month. And <laughs> <laughs> we always do big lunches yeah, and stuff. Yeah, make, you know, so, um, and for him, it was all about um, being better at telling a sermon. Mm -hmm. So good. Love that. So, Samantha Paris. Yes. I would like to ask you a question. <laughs> um, like you what, haven't been. <laughs> what do you, like I haven't been. What do you, hey, you can do the Jewish lady too. I am a part of the tribe. My goodness gracious. I'm not, but I fool everybody. <laughs> we saw at the last um, party. So, what do you think have been the keys to your success? Um, keys or key? Keys, success, longevity. Okay. What is successes? Uh, the most important thing is um, you got to wake up every day and really enjoy the journey. And you also have to accept sometimes that plan B can be a hell of a lot better than plan A. Mm -hmm. um, I wake up every day just wanting to um, make a difference. Sometimes, you know, it sounds really flowery right now. Do I wake up some mornings and go, oh, Jesus, I've got 10 hours of teaching ahead of me. How can I do this? Yeah. I've been doing this 27 years. You've got to be kidding me. I have eight private lessons today. Oh, I mean, I'm human. You're human. Yeah, yeah. of course. But when I get in the car, I tell myself, if I say one something special or important to someone that's going to make a difference, yeah. It's worth getting up in the morning. Yeah. It's worth blow drying the hair. Yeah, not only that, I bet you a thousand dollars right now that when you actually get there and you're with that first person, that all you can think about is, is that. them. That's and right. You're yeah. Loving the it's moment. That's right. But it's I just can't stress enough that um, I don't think I made this point. I hate that word talent. Mm -hmm. Yes, there are some people that are naturally gifted. I actually think I was one 
<laughs> you Maybe. Are. I mean, I know it was in my DNA yeah. as a performer voiceover because I had very little training. That's the thing. When I started teaching, I was like, holy cow, I don't know how to teach this because I think I just Knew do it. it. Mm -hmm. So over time, I got better at breaking down what I just unconsciously did and, you know, was able to come up with, you know, let's say yeah. a method or whatever. But, um, I do believe that anyone that wants to do this, you know, it's, it's that, that talent can be taught. Yeah. All right. There are very few people that are gifted. I have spent all these years now teaching. Most people have never acted a day in their life. People call on the phone and say to me, oh, I want to come for a private lesson so you will evaluate me. Well, if I did that the way stereotypically we're talking in Hollywood, yeah. it would be like they're going to get the proverbial hook yeah. Yeah. off the stage. Yeah. Yeah. Most people that don't come to me, yeah, you don't have, yeah, that's yeah. people say, don't quit your day job. Or, you know, they'll, that person will walk out the door and that teacher will say, oh, my God, this person's so horrible. Yeah. I don't ever think that. I'll hear someone that clearly, Needs I know, oh boy, we have to start at the very beginning, mm -hmm. but I have seen thousands of people now transform who didn't know how to do this at all yeah. and are now, their lives are changed, they're living their dream, they're doing what they want to do. So my biggest message to all of you is that this can be taught. If this is what you want to do, you'll do it. You, can you do just it. have to believe in yourself and keep working at it and you'll do it. That is fabulous. I love that. And what a better place to start doing it than yeah. winning this <laughs> fabulous <Right>? class, <laughs> workshop, whatever you want to call it, that you're Capsulize giving away to our viewers. Capsulize what you got viewers. out of this show in 250 words, max. It, yes. Okay, let's run through the, inst yeah. the, the, the okay. instructions for this so giveaway. last chance, guys. They're going to capsulize. G go ahead, tell us. I just, it needs to, you know, you can already tell Sammy's like a really heartfelt person. So yes. it doesn't have to be slick. Make Hallmark proud on this one, people. <laughs> no, it doesn't have to be mushy. <laughs> I just want it to, to ring true. I want to read this letter and then meet you and know that this letter and you are absolutely one and the same. Yeah. I just want to know what did you get out of this and, you know, what did you learn, the teacher and me? So share a couple of things that you really got out of this and why you think you should be the the person to take the class. It's really that yep. simple. Simple. Yep. And then you're going to email how many words or less? 250 max. So simple. Mm -hmm. And you're going to 250 words, not characters. Absolutely. <laughs> We're all about characters. <laughs> yeah. not about and, you're going to, <laughs> and you're going to email to voice tracks at voiceover-training.com. It's right it's there on the right screen. right there. Um, you can get the details on our Facebook page, Via Bus Weekly. It's going to be all over voice social media on your website, mm -hmm. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and also, most importantly, this is 2015. <laughs> yes. The deadline for this giveaway oh, is December right. 15th, yes. 2015. Ah, 1515. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How can they 15, forget that? 15. 12, Pretty 15, 15. simple. Yeah. Um, Samantha, we're going to put you on this. Let's, uh, we got one more question yeah. for you, Samantha. Okay. And we don't even know what it is. <laughs> okay. So exciting. Um, uh, you know what? I have to ask you one more question. Okay. I, I heard where you said safety lies in, in the, the risk, risk. Yes. and i really want to hear what you yeah what is that because i love that safety lies in the risk um simplest way to explain this let's say you gotta dive into the ocean or a swimming pool and the water's cold mm -hmm. right it's so stupid because we all know the best way to dive into cold water it's to just dive in. Mm -hmm. If you first step on the shallow end, the first step, and then it's like it's Stick so your painful, toe in. Yeah. Yeah. right? And right. then and you, you get and then you it's it's so painful. It's so much easier to dive in. So why is it that we we don't do that? Why do we play it safe and hurt ourselves and first put our toe in, and then our ankles? Why do we torture ourselves? So we think we're playing it safe by doing that, which is ridiculous. We know the thing to do is dive in. That's where it's safe. Yeah. So safety lies in the risk. Just dive in. Mm. Don't play it safe. <coughs> Don't hold back. You're never gonna get anywhere. Not to mention the fact that we learn so much more about ourselves, everything, when we make mistakes. Mm -hmm. So just really believe that, you know, adults always want to play it safe in life. Yeah. Okay, so playing it safe means you have to take the risk. That's where the water is warm.
my friends. Well, I am Beautiful. never, ever going to stick my toes in the water again. I'm just jumping in. That's right. Okay, Samantha, pick a number between 5 and 129. What am I going to win? <laughs> <laughs> what am I going to win? Class. You're going to get to teach no, a class. It, it, it reminds me of, you know, like... Uh, Behind um, door number three. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. I love no, that. Okay, what am I'm 55. So I'll say 55. 55. Well, let me just tell you, if you're the face of 55... I want to get there tomorrow. Um, Thank you, honey. Fantastic. Okay. Oh, okay. If God were to whisper one thing in your ear, what would you like him to say? Wow. Good job. Good job. Good job. I love that. Best answer I think we've I ever had on that. any question. Thank you so much. You so are such good. a gift. This what a was doll. Such a thrill. Oh, thank you. I'm just so honored and thank thrilled you so much to for being be here. here. Thank you. Thank you for allowing me this time to Absolutely. Share. Man, what a great pleasure. We have made to... a new friend for life. I yes, can we feel have. it. Yeah, and we, and listen, it. we know you guys got a lot of stuff. Your freaking hand hurts from writing so much. <laughs> Stick around because next week we are going to be back with another show for you guys. So we'll see you then. Bye, everybody. So this is Samantha Paris, and I just got buzzed with Chuck and Stacy. And what a fantastic experience it has been. I feel like I've made, well, one brand new best friend. I've connected with an old friend. And I'm really, really looking forward to connecting with all you out there. I wish you all well. Wow, wow, wow. Mm, and lot, wow. A lot of good stuff there, man. I'll tell yeah. you what. I wasn't even taking notes and my hand hurts. Um, <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's uh, that concludes our two-part episode with Samantha Paris. And uh, we're going to be back next week with another show for you guys. Hope you have enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time. Yes, we will. And check out our Facebook page and the Voice Tracks SF page for the details of the giveaway. Enter soon. Don't Absolutely. wait. Absolutely. Okay, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. We love you. And just remember... You, you always, always have, have time, time for a, a little, little buzz. buzz.